a relation between them and dance started to shift maybe a bit in this intensive project because it just brought them to other places that they didn't know before. It just started with a very simple desire. How can we create together something meaningful for us both uh, artistically, but also like in relation to the, uh, to the situation here in Lebanon and to offer something to young emerging uh, artists or people just curious about dance. So this is really where it started. I think also we challenged those seven lab participants really a lot with, with how, in a way, abstract, deep, personal and at the same time collective we have um, started that process and we are still developing it. Because for sure it's not easy to really recall your memories and translate them to a clear form of expression without maybe having certain skills, but I feel all of the performers, they are, they relate to their physical archive and they, sometimes it comes out naturally, but it's still very challenging to, to be able to create something where they could recall it really every day and in every run that we are doing. Um, because it's a huge theme also, the physical archive. غير هيك بفتكر في شيء اساسي كيف خلق هيدا المشروع نوع من يمكن في يقول اوقات سمية موقف خصوصي انه كمان خلق حالي مع حالي من من انه نكون عم نعمل هيدا الروتين من التدريب اليومي وهيدا التدريب هو عباره عن خلق حركه باماكن مختلفه ببيروت وبرات بيروت يعني النتيجه هي بتشبه فوضى المدينة وبتشبه أوقات الـ 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 الهدوء تبعها بتشبه العاصفة اللي كل الوقت موجودين فيها وكيف من نلاقي حلولنا نضلنا نضلنا ماشيين in any moment you feel you're about to lose it, just connect to the center and also test it out now with the audience. Yeah, we have this beautiful uh, opportunity to have them here, so try to sense it what it does with you. The lab almost continues with the performances. We try kind of to look at it not as it's finished and then we have it and we're gonna present it. This will be another process. Sometimes it's gonna be inside, like Beit Beirut is actually quite small space, so it's both indoors and outdoors. Okay. Je trouve que c'est un trésor et que souvent quand on est dans la performance, on oublie parce qu'on veut faire bien. Et je, moi, ce qui m'a touché le plus, en tout cas, c'était l'énergie qu'ils partagent. Donc, euh, je n'avais pas besoin de comprendre. You wish as an audience, I mean, this makes you feel that this is accessible. Well. Mm, exactly. Yes. I mean, it's very simple, so you can access to this. You could, you could even join. 
Mm -hmm. And I think, I mean, also once again related to public spaces, it's an invitation for us to be together be in part. this space yeah. differently, no? Yeah. So yeah. this kind of, yes, innocence, I would, Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I mean, pay yeah, attention yeah. not to yeah, totally not to. erase it. Yeah, yeah. بآخر هيدا المشروع لاحظت قد ايه نحن بحاجة لهيك نوعية مشاريع وين يكون عنا الوقت الكافي لنختبر نستكشف ونبحث أعادوا اكتشاف المواد واللغة الحركية الموجودة بحياتهم اليومية وبالبيئة اللي بيعيشوا فيها ورجعوا حطوها بطريقة جديدة اللي هي صارت لغة رأس معاصر بتشبه المكان اللي موجودين فيه. For me, what has really become clear in this project is that how much you need to love dance, to 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 dance, to because it's one thing if you have a good moment and you're happy and 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 you dance and you have the energy. This is really one thing, but to every day work for several hours with your body, this is just another thing. And anyone could have a good moment of improvisation and and moving and be beautiful. But this persistency and this curiosity and every day to listen to your body, to to go beyond pain, to work with it, to discover this is just I think you can only do this with a deep love. And I don't know how much really they all love to move. And they maybe also don't know. <laughs>